Hi, I'm Joseph Abood, President and Chief Creative Officer of HMX Group. You know, I've, I've loved this world of fashion for a long time. And the elements of style are, there's a certain consistency to them. A well-dressed guy, whether he's 20-something, 30-something, 40-something and above. Uh, a guy in a great tailored suit. And the old, my old joke is, you never want the suit to walk in the room before you do. So that means pick something that fits your personality, your style. For a young guy, I always, re you know, I always recommend a great navy suit, a dark gray suit, a great navy blazer. And those are the elements, not only of style, but sort of the elements of necessity in your wardrobe. And what I've tried to do in the last number of years is teach men how to use their wardrobe. So that if a, if a guy has a great navy suit and he wears it with his shirt and tie to work, and he looks great. How do you take that suit and maybe go out to dinner uh, on the weekend and wear an open collar shirt? So it's, a, it's not two separate wardrobes, a Monday to Friday, nine to five suit, shirt and tie, and then everything else. It's really integrating. They're better to buy less and buy better quality. It's much better to have three or four great fitting suits that you might buy at a store. Uh, then eight or ten suits that don't fit you well, you never look good. And that's more of the European mindset anyway of better quality and making sure you look good every day. You know, defining dressing for success is different for everyone. So there is no one set of rules. The most important thing is for a man to understand the world he lives in and how to dress for the world he lives in. That's the most important thing. You'll never go wrong by wearing a beautiful, well-cut black tuxedo, because every guy will feel like James Bond. So I think that's cool. And yet if you're in the Hamptons or in a, in a, in a resort and there's a black tie event, maybe you're going to wear uh, a dinner jacket with a pair of black jeans and just a white shirt. So you really have to understand the environment you're dressing for and the world that you live in and how to dress for it. And it's why I've done this for so long, because it's about how America is projecting itself with its own style. That we don't need to take style from Europe or this place or that. That we have our own freer style that's kind of made America, America great. And the great thing about it is Hotch After Marx is at the very base of it. The interesting thing about heritage brands is that they really have so much value. Uh, the American consumer, if you take a look at Hotch After Marx, made tailored clothing and made the uniforms for our soldiers in World War I and World War II, uh, have been a part of the American fashion scene since 1887. And that's pretty special. That's instant integrity. Uh, and, and I think the American consumer today wants to relate to real, honest American brands. And it's exciting to breathe new life into them, to bring new ideas to them, but again, being very respectful of what they've represented and the history they've built.